Hey there, welcome back. Thanks for requesting that quick start guide and for confirming your email address. So uh, basically what's going to happen now is right below this video, there's a link to the quick start guide and you can just download that right away. If you're on a PC, you can right click save as. If you're on a Mac, I'm sure you'll know what to do. And then what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you three chords, A, D and E. I'm going to show you how to read chord grids before I show the chords to you. And then um, we're also going to talk about the three different elements of music that you need to understand when you want to learn to play acoustic guitar. So I'm sure you're burning to get your hands on the guitar. Before we get into those chords, let me quickly show you in the, in the quick start guide how you can read chord grids. And as soon as you understand that, which is just going to take a couple of seconds anyway, we'll look at the first three chords, which is A, D and E. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick look at the quick start guide. Right, let me show you how the chord frame or the chord grid relates to the actual guitar. So that because if you can understand that, you'll be able to, you know, learn any chord you want as long as you have the chord represented on the, on the chord grid. So basically what this chord grid is all about, it's a visual representation of the actual guitar. Okay, so let's start with the nut, which is the thick black line you see over there. And it's also represented with a thick black line on the chord frame. Next up, if we have a look at the little drawing of the guitar, those vertical lines are the strings and on the chord frame, the vertical lines are strings as well. Next up, we have the actual strings. Let's start with the sixth string, which is the E string. The E string is also the thickest string on the guitar and it's got the lowest sound. Right next up, we have the fifth string, which is the A string. After that, we have the fourth string, which is the D string. Then we have the third string, which is the G string. Then next up, we have the second string, which is the B. And then the first string is also an E string. But in this case, it's actually the thinnest string and it also happens to be the highest in pitch, the highest sounding string on the guitar. All right, so let's have a look at the frets. As you can see on a little drawing of the guitar, the horizontal lines, they refer to the frets. And then when we go to the little chord grid or the chord frame, once again, horizontal lines represent the frets over there. So let's have a look at an actual example of a chord. In the first thing you'll notice is the chord symbol. And in this case, it is the letter C, which means that this is a C chord. Now, the little cross you see behind the nut, that would be a sign that says, don't play that actual string. So whenever you see a cross behind the nut, that means you are not going to, to play that string at all. All right, then when you get to the, the zeros behind the nut, that just simply means it's an open string where we will play the string without actually fingering the string. Okay, next up there's our nut again and then we can see that our fingers are being represented with these black dots over here. Alright, and um, so that just depends on which frets you, you'll be playing your fingers. You'll be putting your fingers to play the actual chord and the, the fingers also have numbers in the left hand. And I will show you that in just a few seconds. But if you look at this, once again, you'll see that your first finger is playing the first fret on the second string, right? Then the first and third strings are open, meaning we don't play any fingers on those strings. Then the fourth string, we have the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And then the fifth string, in this case, is being played with the third finger on the third fret all right and that note there you can see it's got a little circle around it which means that is the root note now that particular note is an actual c right that's why this chord is called c in the with a chord name over there so but pretty much that is just in a nutshell how you read the chord grids so uh, when we go over the chords in in a second then you will see how that relates to your chords in the quick start guide, there's a whole bunch of chords as well for you to learn. And now that you know how to read them, you, you can just go and check them out in the quick start guide. 